Well, communication is core for Intelsat, and you know we've been really focusing on uh, bridging this divide of you know connecting the unconnected in in Africa, and you know this partnership with AMN allows us uh, you know to really go f a step further than what we could have done in the past by providing a solution uh, to when where mobile network operators can really focus on going into ultra rural uh, uh, regions and provide cost effective solutions there which is not currently available. Mm. Tell me, uh, of course we know that the purpose of this investment is to accelerate the development of mobile connectivity to unserved regions in Africa. How do you intend to go about this, step by step? So Intelsat uh, is the world's largest satellite company. Uh, you know, and with our satellite technology, we have partnered with AMN then, which have developed uh, a product, uh, and it's a, net, a network uh, as you uh, network as a service product, which basically is where uh, AMN funds, designs, and manages this network uh, for mm. the mobile network operators, which is then coupled with our satellite uh, solutions. It is a peer satellite service, which allows obviously the, the time to market as well as the cost effectiveness, uh, you know, to, to these uh, underdeveloped regions uh, a bit more effectively. Yeah. All right, uh, Hans, of course, in the past, we've seen many uh, mobile network operators in the region facing barriers when they're trying to deploy their networks in certain regions because there is no sites, there are no uh, infrastructure development. Tell me, how does this particular investment or the partnership with AMN come in to bridge this gap? Well, it's definitely unique in the sense that it's, it's, it's a very low cost, uh, small cell solution, mm. which is purely self-sustainable. Um, through uh, solar panel uh, power uh, provisioning. And then, you know, it's also paired with our EPIC uh, new generation high throughput satellite technology, which is, you know, a, a lot more efficient and high powered satellite applications. So combining these two, you know, we can definitely create different economies of scale, uh, you know, by bridging also, you know, the potential concerns of, of what these mobile network operators had uh, for developing in these regions. Um, it, it is a simple solution that can be installed in less than six hours. Uh, and as soon as this is installed, you know, it, and you create the, the market environment in these regions, you know, definitely the mobile network operators will see return on investment at a much lower cost than uh, potentially investing in terrestrial infrastructure to roll out to these regions. Um, so it's definitely uh, applicable to uh, uh, attaining to the potential concerns of uh, the economics constraints, uh, as well as you know the the bad uh, infrastructure that might be available in this region. So. Hans, of course, you're talking about low cost here and uh, small cell solutions, but. Telecom operators are more interested in growing their subscribers base and, uh, you know, more on the revenue beat. Talk to me about that. How does this, you know, change the narrative or maybe even grow to more rural areas? How does this particular partnership make that possible? Well, there's a great opportunity for mobile network operators in Africa. 40% uh, mm. of the population in Africa is still unconnected. So... Rightfully so, mobile network operators uh, is driven by uh, the amount of subscribers on their networks. And uh, previous mobile network uh, networks were more focused on urban areas and more highly densely populated areas, which was a good initiator for, for the, you know, the regional services that, uh, that they provide. But the connecting the unconnected, there is such a mass amount of people which is not connected or that it does not even have uh, access to any type of uh, network infrastructure. And there is a great opportunity for mobile networks, uh, uh, you know, to tap into. Uh, and by providing, a, a, you know, this low-cost, cost-effective solution, which is also scalable for them, it is, it is a, a, a quite a nice fit for them to look cl more closer to these markets uh, in, in a bit more depth. Mm. All right, finally, before I let you go, of course, uh, this is my last question. Talk to me about Intelsat's, you know, footprint in Africa and what will make you actually uh, make all of this possible. Because we're talking about uh, uh, 2G mobile services. We're talking about upgrading to 4G. And, I mean, this has been rather a very big conversation when you talk about mobile connectivity and how much penetration we're talking about. So how does Intelsat's uh, footprint on the continent enable this particular one? 
So Intelsat has got a great focus in on Africa. You know, we've uh, mm. s since uh, Intelsat started in 1965, you know, we've been part of the, the, the communication fabric in Africa as well. You know, we were the first to provide uh, communication solutions for mobile networks as well as you know digital broadcasters. And you know, we since that, you know, we've we managed to grow with this this uh, this market and industry here. So, um, you know, we have definitely developed and and focused on uh, innovations for Africa specifically. Um, we have uh, currently three offices in Africa strategically placed, one being in Johannesburg, South Africa, the other being in Nairobi, Kenya, as well as in Dakar, Senegal. Each of these offices then focus on business development and growth uh, and, and driving initiatives into these key areas, which is you know, quite diverse uh, you know, from each other and, and, and you know, as, as the continent is, is so different country to country. So Intelsat is definitely focused then on you know, providing uh, a bit more tailor-made solutions uh, and regional applications uh, through these, uh, these sales offices uh, and uh, the, uh, the investments that we've made into our satellite infrastructure. We have recently uh, launched uh, our EPIC new generation high throughput satellite, which is based on standard C and KU, well proven and, and uh, tried and tested frequency ranges in, in uh, Africa. And through these new satellites, you know, we can definitely tailor make uh, solutions a lot more. Uh, it's a fully digital platform. And uh, you know, what we can achieve from uh, you know, economies uh, uh, right down to uh, you know, more diversified uh, uh, products uh, is definitely uh, different to what we could have done it in the past. Uh.